Hey guys, welcome to Illogical Human. Today I'm going to tell you how to display dynamic uh, time on your web page using jQuery. So jQuery is nothing; it is just a library for JavaScript. In JavaScript, JavaScript is uh, used for client-side scripting. Client-side scripting means on your means uh, it is downloaded with your HTML page to your browser, and then it can be used for client side validation and some effects so that it doesn't have to make a trip to the server uh, uh, to execute everything it will be downloading on your browser on your client side it will be executed okay so let's get started uh, this is the uh, project asp.net project that i have open web uh, project that i have uh, opened web application on visual studio 2010 and here i am going to add a new item as the web form okay so i'll just add here and since we are going to be using J, uh, uh, jquery so we need to download jquery as well so i go to jquery.com oh sorry yeah jquery.com and i download this the latest whatever is will not go into that details So this is jQuery. I copy the name and then I select it all. And then I open the Notepad and I copy, save as. Again. saved it and now i'm going to include it in my project add existing item on the desktop there it is jquery i added now i include it in my project in my head section i included my head section and now i'm going to write script code type So I am going to include. I am going to display the date in my div. So I give it an ID. The ID would be div date time. Okay, guys. So I am going to write a function actually. And in that function, I am going to display. Okay. The name of the function would be get date time function. Okay. And in that, I'm going to display the. I'm going to populate the div with the date time. Okay, so that's what I get the div. Okay, we are going to use the jQuery selector. Okay, and I'm going to access the div using its ID. So I use this hash. Okay, and then it's HTML. I'm going to copy it. Okay, first I need to create a. I'm going to create a variable using the arrow keyword. This variable can contain anything, integer as well as string. So there, there is time. and i'm going to create new this new date and this date time i'm going to put into the so this function has been created now we need to call this function when all the um, means objects of the document object model dom when the uh, dom is loaded when the dom is uh, document object model it's uh, just a <coughs> you can say all the tags like head body form div like all the tags in the you can say for simplicity say you can say all the tags in the document okay so we need to call when the dom is loaded so we need to call document okay 
and on ready function and ready function will need to will be calling this function yes it is okay so it on ready function will be calling this so let's run it now guys Okay, guys. So it didn't work. We need to modify the code a bit. Actually, this is not the right way. On the function, we cannot just uh, pass a function parameter. We need to call another function. So the correct form would be yeah, a function, and then we will be using this unnamed function. And inside that function, we are going to call our get date time function. Okay. So this is the correct way. So debug, stop debugging, and let's then start debugging again. And as you can see, the date time has been displayed. But if you notice, the guys, see the time here. This is at 9 9 p.m. 3 minutes and 30 seconds. It is static. Static. Okay. So it is not refreshing. We every time we want the time, the current time we are. we have to refresh it so this how do we get a dynamic time that's what we are going to see we are going to use the javascript set interval function that will be that takes a function that it needs to execute at a time delay when the delay that after which the interval actually after which the function will be executed okay so we are going to use that set interval set interval and it takes two parameter one will be the code as you can see the code the code will be this get date time function and we going to the delay after the time it drop to which we need uh, this in function to be called so we are going to make it as 1 second so actually it takes time in milliseconds so 1 second is equal to 1000 milliseconds okay now we are going to stop debugging and then start debugging again Something is wrong. Something is wrong. So it is calling. Why is it in the set interval? Okay. So guys, the problem is when we are passing a function to another function as parameter, we do uh, we do not need to specify these uh, yeah, parentheses. Okay. So now when we run it, we stop the debugging and then we uh, start the debugging again. <coughs> There, you see, dynamic time is displayed. Okay, okay. Okay, guys. So that's it for today. Bye. If you like my video, please uh, like it or and subscribe my page for more videos like this. Thank you, guys.